Hello and welcome to today's tutorial on how to do a factory recalibration on the Zix 3D printer. This procedure is done on all our 3D printers before leaving the warehouse in Sweden and can be done on a Zix Plus or on a regular Zix running the version 3 software. Step 1. Reset factory settings. Using the display on the Zix 3D printer, navigate to Utilities, then Restore Settings, and then press yes. Step 2. Leveling the build plate. Put the build plate in the printer and using the display on the printer navigate to utilities and then go to level build plate. Reading the text on the display, this wizard will restore the factory calibration of the build plate. Please remove any plastic residue on the print head nozzle. Adjust build plate to lowest position on all three points with the tool. Adjust the back left position just until the LED lights. Then press the mid button. Adjust the back right position until the LED lights. Then press the mid button. We keep following the instructions on the display and adjust the three points until the printer verifies the leveling of the plate. Your build plate is now leveled. Step 3. Probe calibration. To do this step, we need a copier paper. It should be a standard 80 to 90 gram laser or inkjet paper. We will also need to visit the Zix 3D Printer website at www.zix3dprinter.com. Go to the Support tab and press Software. There you will find a section called Probe Calibration. Download the file for Sailfish version 7.7 RZX20 or later. Once downloaded, Unzip the file and put the unpacked file on your SD card provided with the printer. Put the SD card in the printer. Make sure your build plate is properly secured. Then press print from SD and choose the file for the probe calibration. To calibrate the probe, the extruder needs to heat up. Once the extruder is hot, navigate through the instructions with the middle button. Now you will need that piece of paper. This paper should be carefully put under the hot end nozzle. To find the correct distance, gently move the paper during the calibration. When the distance is found, you must cancel by pressing left, then select cancel. So here you see us sliding the paper, pressing the middle button multiple times until we feel it grab on. Then canceling. And note that at first you might feel some residue plastic under the nozzle, but this will be scraped off and then you will feel the paper grabbed firmly. Now we have calibrated the probe and defined the offset between the nozzle and the probe. Step 4. Fine-tuning the build plate. 
we will need to visit the Zix3 printer website again, under the Support tab, and then Software. Go to the section called Fine Tuning the Build Plate. Download and unpack the zip file. There will be two files, one instruction PDF, and one printing file. Before we do any tuning, we need to reset the values we will be calibrating. On the display, go to Utilities, and then Home Offsets. Set the following parameters as close to zero as possible. Right back offset, left back offset, left front offset, right front offset, and mid plate offset. Use the middle button to set the value, the up button to add to the value, and the down button to subtract. In the unpacked zip file, there was a file called Zix Test Print Quick X3G. Put this file on the Zix's SD card and print the file. The test print consists of five disks placed at the outer corners and the middle of the build plate. Once the printer is finished, remove the build plate but don't remove the disks. Compare the disks with the table included in the downloaded PDF. Add the numbers stated on the corresponding offset in Home Offsets menu. So using the print we just printed as an example, the right back disk looks to be printed just a little bit too far away from the build plate. So we add minus 50 to the corresponding offset by pressing once on the down button, then the middle button to set the value. Then we move on to the left back disk. This looks good, so we don't do anything to this offset. Left front looks like it's printed a good bit away from the build plate. So we add minus 200. The right front disk is also a little bit too far away, so we add minus 50 to this offset. Lastly, the disk at the middle is a bit too close, so we add plus 50 to the mid offset. If all the disks look worse than the pictures plus 0.200 millimeters or minus 0.200 millimeters, we suggest redoing a probe calibration. Once all the offsets have been set, we suggest printing another disk print, the file called Zix Test Print Quick X3G, to verify the tuning. You might feel that you want to do some final adjustments. Note that also after the fine tuning, there will be a slight difference between the disks. These differences won't affect the printing quality. Once the fine tuning is complete, the factory recalibration of the Zix3D printer is finished. Once the fine tuning is completed, the factory recalibration of the Zix3D printer is finished. Well done. Till next time.